Hi everybody, my name is Miss Edwards. In this video, we're going to talk about contextualization. As part of this lesson, your goal is to examine the concept of scale. If you look at the scale tool and you see the word contextualization and you're not sure about what that means, then this video is for you. In this video, we're going to focus on how to contextualize in our writing with sentence expansion. Okay, so let's get into it. Contextualization. 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 So what does it mean? Contextualization means you contextualize. Still confused? Yeah, I have to admit I was at first too. One thing that helps is to think of five simple words when you hear the word contextualization. Who, what, when, where, and why. Asking questions with these five words help us to contextualize. Let's look at what each of these question words mean. Who refers to a person or group of people, subject, it could be animals, any, any subject of a sentence. When refers to day or date, time. Where is all about location, setting. What is the topic? Why is the reason? When we contextualize an event, we think of these five questions and their answers. Let's practice we are going to contextualize the Haitian Revolution. After we answer these five question words, then we're gonna add the information to step one of the scale tool. Okay, so let's contextualize the Haitian Revolution. So there are several events happening and we're gonna contextualize them each. Okay, so who? The Maroons, they were self-emancipated, Where? Haiti, formerly known as Saint-Domingue. When? Late 18th century, end of the 1700s. What? The enslaved escaped to maroon communities and were self-emancipated. They freed themselves. Why? Because daily terror and violence inflicted on the enslaved by white planters. Let's add the information to the scale tool. So we have the Haitian Revolution is the name of the event, the geographic location where the event occurred is Haiti, formerly known as Saint-Domingue. Who were the key players in this event? The Maroons. And what were the historical circumstances that led to this event? They fled to Maroon communities to escape daily terror and violence. Let's look at another example the enslaved and maroons okay so where haiti formerly known as saint domingue when 1791 what led rebellions against france why because the french revolution weakened france's grip on power on overseas colonies so now we're going to add this to our scale tool the same for the name and geographic location who were the key players in this event? The enslaved and Maroons rebelled. What were the historical circumstances that led to this event? French Revolution weakened France's grip on power on overseas colonies. Let's do another example. Who? Napoleon Bonaparte, Haiti, formerly known as Saint-Domingue, 1802, sent the French military to reinstate slavery. Okay, so the same is happening for the name and geographic location. Who were the key players? Napoleon. The historical circumstances that led to this event, he sent troops to Haiti to reinstate slavery. Our last example, Jean-Jacques de Salines. Haiti, formerly known as Saint-Domingue, 1804, he declared Haiti independent from France. Why did he do this? To prevent slavery from returning to Haiti. Okay, so the same for the name of event, geographic location. Who were the key players? Jean-Jacques de Salines. And what were the historical circumstances? Declared Haiti independent to prevent slavery from returning to the island. Now that we have this information, we want to put it in a sentence that captures the who, what, where, when, and why. 
we are going to do this with sentence expansion. So now we're going to create sentences that contextualize. So sentence expansion can help us to create informative sentences that contextualize an event. It gives our readers, our listeners more information. It helps us to summarize the different parts of step one, the contextualization tool. So let's practice expanding the sentence. The enslaved escaped, right? So this sentence is complete. However, it doesn't tell us very much information about, about the context, right? It's, it says the enslaved, it tells us the who escaped what, right? It's, it tells us the what, but it doesn't answer the when, the where, and the why. So we're gonna practice expanding this little bitty itty sentence, this simple sentence. How can we do that? We need to think about the when. In the late 18th century, where, Haiti, why, to escape daily terror and violence, and let's put them together. We wanna to start with the when first, um, to give our sentence context. In the late 18th century, some of the enslaved people of Haiti fled to maroon communities to escape daily terror and violence. Let's look at another example. They rebelled. They sort of tells us the who. Uh, if you're not sure about the context, this might not be that clear. So it tells us the who and it tells us the what, but it's missing the when, the where, and the why. So we want to expand the sentence. Um, we probably should start with the who. Who? The enslaved and maroons went in the late 1700s. Where? Haiti. Why? The French Revolution weakened France's grip on power on overseas colonies. So let's put it together to write an expanded sentence. In the late 1700s, the enslaved and maroons of Haiti rebelled because the French Revolution weakened France's grip on power of overseas colonies. Let's look at this other example. Napoleon sent troops. Okay, this tells us who and what, but it doesn't tell us when, where, and why. So when? After the rebellions, 1802. Where? Haiti. Why? To reinstate slavery. What's our expanded sentence? After the rebellions in 1802, Napoleon sent troops to Haiti in order to reinstate slavery. Our last example, Dessalines declared independence. The who and the what are here, but it's still missing the when, the where, and the why. We wanna expand this sentence. When? 1804, where? Haiti, why? To stop slavery from returning. So in 1804, Jean-Jacques Dessalines declared independence in order to stop slavery from returning to Haiti. Let's recap. So to contextualize means we are answering the five W's about an event. We can contextualize in our writing with sentence expansion. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.